episode number 54, and it is February 27th. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Don. Who are you? So my name is Dawn Thornhill. I am a nurse practitioner. Um, my healthcare career spans about 22 years now. Um, started in you know bedside nursing, just as a, a regular nurse taking care of patients, and found my way to the VA healthcare system, where um, I started to identify some connections uh, between hormone balance, depression, just physical health. Um, you know, we see a tremendous decline in testosterone level in our in our combat veterans at a very young age, mm -hmm. and so you know that in combination with some of the um, issues that spring out of, you know, combat, such as depression, PTSD, night terrors, um, you know, some of those things can be corrected or some of the symptoms can be alleviated with hormone balance. And so that's initially what speaked my interest or, or piqued my interest rather. Um, I, you know, continued my career and my education. And, and when I became a nurse practitioner, I thought, you know, I really want to learn more about this. And at that time, I myself was, um, you know, an athlete my whole life. And I had found my way into the bodybuilding world. And, you know, the two kind of crossover when you're talking about health and wellness and nutrition and your physique, hormones do play a major role in that. And so I started to learn that side of it as well. And I thought, man, we really have a gap in healthcare where we are not addressing this. And with the I guess, growth of functional medicine and that type of medical model where we're thinking more holistically and preventatively, um, I feel like we could really do some good just by teaching people about hormone balance and some of the things that we can do not only with TRT and HRT, but with natural methods and means to improve those hormones. So um, I just started teaching myself and, and taking courses, reading books, um, networking, you know, with other industry leaders and just trying to absorb as much as I could from other people who've done this for years. And um, I found my way into to HRT. And um, I kind of combine my, my um, bodybuilding and nutritional expertise when I'm teaching patients about how to be healthier. We kind of take a holistic um, viewpoint with those patients. And I really enjoy it. I work, um, you know, in hormone replacement therapy, but I also am in the Air Force Reserve. So um, I spend a lot of my time with active duty military and, you know, I see firsthand the importance of having that energy and motivation and strength and endurance that comes from that optimized hormone balance. And so I just try to teach as much as I can and um, mm -hmm. kind of spread the information so that people can take some control over their health and their life. And that's a really big thing right there. So first off, thank you so much for your service because you're in the Air Force. That's awesome, Don. That is amazing. And we are streaming tonight on Facebook, obviously YouTube and Twitter. So hopefully the word gets out about who you are and what you have to offer us as far as information goes. So basically, I've been on HRT myself for going on. I'm almost at eight years now. And one of the big things I've learned um, and in, in, in this whole journey is how to be a healthier human being. It's amazing when I was living a deficient life personally, myself, um, I was 39 when I first had, when I had my first blood test and, um, I was deficient, but I really didn't do anything about it until a, t a couple of years later. It was really, a, really a bad mistake on my end. And I will tell you that since I've become hormonally optimized, um, it has been one of the best decisions I could have ever made as far as who I am as a human being. It literally has changed every aspect of my life and you have a big hand in that. And I'm super grateful for you. And that's why I'm appreciative for you to even take the time tonight. Um, it's important for everyone to understand and know that um, there is really no big taboo. I don't think when it comes to living your best life, is there? Absolutely not. No, you know, we're, there's a lot of talk these days about, um, you know, gender and fluidity and mm -hmm. be who you are and love who you are and be the best you, whoever that may be. And, you know, there's no reason to, to, to feel like you're doing something wrong and wanting to know what areas you could be better, you know, and if that means nutrition, if that means supplementing with vitamins or minerals, something that simple, if it means something as big as maybe correcting a hormone imbalance, you know, you really will most likely find, like you said, that it opens up tremendous amounts of energy, mental focus, clarity, better sleep, better sex life. 
Um, people say motivation, but I feel like it motivation just doesn't really explain it because it's not just motivation to go to the gym and and have a better body. You know, it's motivation mm -hmm. to play with your kids, go outside and throw the baseball. You know, you actually enjoy life when those hormones are balanced. You get happiness, whereas we have a lot of anhedonia when those hormones are imbalanced, no pleasure in things. And mm -hmm. sometimes we can go a very long time without recognizing that because as human beings, we're, our bodies try to balance and find homeostasis and we adjust to things. Anyone who has a chronic condition knows that, you know, you can go a very long time with those chronic health conditions and just kind of get by, you know, a diabetic mm -hmm. patient, a hypertensive patient, they might not be treated and they might just get by because their body adjusts for the most part. Um, but eventually you'll break and, and eventually you have disease. And the same thing goes for hormones. You know, you can adjust and you can deal with it, but eventually if it goes uncorrected, um, you know, we have increased heart disease, we have obesity, we have decreased bone density. And you don't want to realize that when you're 65 and you fall, you know, you want to take care of it prior to that. 